Hello everyone, it is Canadian Futures Trader here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Gotta get more followers. Be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, get notified every time I put out a brand new video. So today's video, I had a request and this is my first time ever trying this. It has to do with Ninja Trader and connecting Rhythmic to it. Now, I do actually have Ninja Trader. I have a Ninja Trader brokerage account, but that is connected through CQG. I've never actually tried to connect Rhythmic to Ninja Trader, but I know that's how most people uh, go through Trader evaluations. So let's give it a try. This will be my first time. I haven't even tested this, but I know the steps to set it up. So let's go through it. So with Ninja Trader open here, uh, the first thing you're going to have to do, so I'm, I'm taking the perspective of the trader valuation. So if you're brand new and you've just signed up, uh, you'll have to download into trader and most likely the company will send you links and, and these instructions, but download into trader, uh, install that first. Next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to enter a license key. So even though you're getting a free copy of Ninja trader, you still have to enter a license key, which tells Ninja trader that it's the free version. Uh, likewise, if you did happen to buy Ninja Trader, you'd enter a different license key that they would provide, etc. Now, I personally, I own Ninja Trader. I have a lifetime license, uh, but that doesn't really matter for what we're going to be doing today. But where you would enter that license key is under help right here and then under license key. So it will pop up with this box. I just have my license key hidden. You would enter your license key that you were provided by the trader company. Um, or like I mentioned, if you happen, if you're watching this video and you do lease Ninja Trader or you bought Ninja Trader outright, this is where you enter your license key. So go ahead and enter it there. Hit OK. OK, so now Ninja Trader is ready to go. So let's see about setting up Rhythmic. So the little plug icon here is where you set up your connections. Ninja Trader comes with a few default ones. Uh, for example, the Sim 101 account you see right here. Um, it's just a default with Ninja Trader. Um, I have a Ninja Trader Continuum connection listed here. That is for my Ninja Trader brokerage account. And like I said, that is a CQG connection. But we wanted to set up a brand new one. So let's go to Configure right here. And then once we bring up that configure box, we're going to scroll down on the left here. And you're looking for Rhythmic for Ninja Trader Brokers. So just click on that for setting up Rhythmic. And then the first thing you have to do is once you click it here, click Add. So click on Add right here. And now you will see under the configured uh, box here, you also see my Rhythmic for Ninja Trader Brokerage. Now, we still need to enter our credentials, but we're setting up this connection. I should mention, you can rename it as well over here. So let's, let's just enter this as, uh, uh, you can enable click on startup if you want. That way when you start an Ninja Trader, it'll automatically connect to this connection. I'm not gonna do that. So your username and password are your Rhythmic username and passwords. Again, you get this information emailed to you when you sign up with the Trader Evaluations. Uh, just so you know what you're looking for. Uh, the logins will vary depending on the company in terms of what they look like. There's not necessarily like a standard account numbering system. Okay, so I've gone ahead and entered my credentials here. I just have it covered, obviously. Um, so my username and my password, you can click this if you wanted to re-ask your password every time you sign in. Um, and then in terms of system, if you're doing a trader evaluation, you're going to be choosing Rhythmic Paper Trading. I'm going to choose Chicago because it's the closest uh, server to me. And that's kind of the default that you do see given to you in instructions, regardless of the company. So um, let's give this a try. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply, hit OK. So now we're going to go back to this again, risk make you profit trader, see what happens. And hey guys, that worked. I just have it hidden here. It shows my full name. Um, in case you're wondering, I just finished the, the 50k profit trader valuation, so it shows my balance here. 
uh, the realized PL. There's several columns you can add here. This is just how I have mine set up. Uh, you see the little green dot, that means we're connected. So there you go. It's as simple as that to connect to Rhythmic. Uh, I want to do a few more things if you want to stick around. One, I want to see what happens if I try to add on a second connection. From everything I've been told, you cannot be connected to two different Rhythmic connections at the same time. So for example, you profit trader, I'm going to try to add on my earn to trade one and see what happens. And then second, I'll just show you quickly how to go about setting up a chart. But let's try and add a second completely different rhythmic connection. Okay guys, before I hit OK on this, so just so you can see, I'm still connected to my you profit trader one down here. We got the little green light, that's my balance. Up here, I'm establishing a new connection for earn to trade. So I named it earn to trade, I put in my earn to trade credentials. Uh, likewise, I'm going to choose uh, Chicago Paper Trading here. And I'm going to hit apply and I hit OK. I'm, I'm pretty convinced this is not going to work. I believe it's a limitation on the Rhythmic side, not NinjaTrader side or any other software, uh, other other software side. It's strictly a limitation on Rhythmic where they only allow you to log into one account at a time. But let's give it a try. So we'll hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. So now under my connections, you see I have this Rhythmic or the Trade one. Let's click on it. Let's see what happens. And immediately we get an error, guys. So it's kind of as I expected. Rhythmic or the Trade. Uh, already has a running connection. There can't be more than one connection to Rhythmic Ninja Trader brokerage. So that does kind of confirm everything I'd ever heard about trying to connect multiple Rhythmic accounts. It just can't be done, guys. So uh, that's unfortunate uh, for people who do have multiple accounts. I know that's the case for myself. I have uh, connections for about four different companies, and I kind of just have to log into one at a time, trade it, log out, trade a different account, log out, etc. So uh, that solves that mystery. That's pretty much the connection part of this, guys. Really quick, I'll just show you how to set up a chart right here. If you go to Workspaces... Um, I already have some predefined ones, but I'm going to go to new. So now that is our active workspace. I'm actually just going to close my one that I typically use. So you profit treasuries is our current workspace, but we haven't done anything with it. So I'm just going to show you really quick if I want to add a chart. I'm just going to choose the 30 year treasury. And it's basically simple as that guy from right here. You can choose your account. So I'm not going to click it because again, it shows full account number and everything. Um, but that's basically it. Then from here, you can. So if I was to exit Ninja Trader right now, um, it's going to ask me if I want to save my workspace. And that pretty much is it, guys. So hopefully that is of some help for you. At least shows you how to set up a rhythmic connection, answers the question. No, you cannot have more than one rhythmic account active at any given point. One thing I should just mention, just in case it wasn't clear, you can have multiple accounts set up. You can just only be connected to one at a time. So if I disconnect this Uprofit Trader one, I could then connect to the Earn Trade one. So here, I'll just show you that. I'll disconnect. You see it disappear here. And now I will connect the Earn Trade one. And there we go. Now my Earn to Trade is connected. Earn to Trade gives you a SIM account as well. So that's why two accounts popped up here. Uh, but you see the little green dot, and you'll see under connections here, we're connected to the earn to trade one. And again, if we tried to connect to this one right now, we immediately get the error that pops up, same error we had before. So that's basically it, guys. Hopefully that was some help of, to you on how to set up and connect directly to a Rhythmic account through NinjaTrader. And answer the question that you can only have one connection active at a time. And a little bit about setting up a chart real quick. Thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you in the next video.